What's going on YouTube? This is ODC That's Me and I'm back with another action figure review. This is my review of the DC Signature series Club Infinite Earths uh, Wally West Flash. Now um, you might be confused if you're not familiar with the character. This is um, a different Flash. Uh, his name's Wally West and uh, not Barry Allen in this suit. <laughs> Although he might be, he might look, may look a touch similar if you're not used to the character, but it is a different person. So with that being said, I was pretty excited by getting this figure. I don't really have any complaints about him. Uh, I think the paint job is very well done, very consistent throughout the body. Um, I like the new head sculpt. I like the new flash um, wings on the side of his head here. They look good. And... Um, yeah, I like how they stayed true to the character and didn't just reuse the... Uh, I mean, they reused the same boots, but they didn't keep the add-on um, wing on like uh, Barry Allen had. Because Barry, Barry Allen had the wings on his boots as well as his head. But Wally West did not. So, But, uh, yeah, let me get through articulation um, real quick. His head is on a... Oh, uh, swivel here so it does move side to side this guy's a little bit stiff on me um, his head does, doesn't really move up kinda moves down on one click and that's about it and it clicks back um, his arm goes up arm goes down does do a full 360 as a bicep swivel single jointed elbow and a wrist rotation has an ab crunch, goes forward and back pretty well. Has a does a 360 at the waist, T jointed hips, forward and back, a thigh swivel, single jointed knee, and a ankle hinge. So yeah, that's it. Pretty much it for articulation. If you're not familiar with the DC Universe Classics. Um, articulation or as they're now called the DC Unlimited um, articulation it's pretty basic he um, he actually is I want to say he pretty much is a different body mold from the Barry Allen body which I'll bring in Barry here this is the classic look for Barry Allen he has a different to upper torso then this, as you can see here, he's a little bit slimmer than this guy. He's a little bit more bulky. So, as you can see in these shoulders, how it dips in a little bit more than this one. So, and the symbol being a little bit more modern, as you can see there. Him being a more of a traditional red, and him being a little bit more of a uh, metallic red, I'd say. Because he's got some, like, metallic flakes in here. Oops, sorry. In there, and on the back. It's a little bit of, of a uh, metallic or a metallic look to him. I keep saying metallic. Metallic, metallic, metallic. Metallic, metallic, metallic. And his, um, yeah, instead of yellow, we have gold here, which is a very nice gold. Stands out well. He does have the same boots as Barry Allen here with the tread on the bottom which fits well and those are the wings I was talking about in his boots if you're not familiar with this figure or character uh, sorry I was just moving my lighting there <laughs> and uh, yeah the uh, wings on the side of his head are actually a new sculpt as is the entire head so there you go there are the uh, comparisons Sorry, I got this guy a little crouched. So he is about the same height as... Actually, he's a little bit taller than uh, Barry here. Yeah, he's a little bit taller than Barry. So a little bit taller. And then we'll bring in the uh, New 52, Barry Allen, which I like also. So they always get the flash done very well. He's actually taller. He's pretty tall, actually. He's actually taller than the New 52 uh, DC Unlimited uh Barry Allen. So he is taller than him. I would say he's the shortest of the three. So there you go, I think, I believe. Well, actually, let's do another size comparison here. Since we're size comparison, 
Actually, they're about the same height. Yep, they're about the same height, so I lied. But, yeah, Wally West looks great. Um, I definitely recommend him. I, I'm going to actually give this this figure a... I'm going to give this figure an, a 9. I think he, um, overall, he's really great. There's no loose joints on him. There's no... Um, there's the paint apps are pretty pretty well done. Um, there's no uh, bleeding or anything. Everything looks pretty crisp on him. Um, now it's completely up to you if you think um, he's worth twenty five dollars plus shipping if you have the subscription, and if you don't, you probably might pay around thirty dollars for this guy when he does come out. Uh, that's what I would assume. I'm not. I don't know that for sure. So. Don't quote me, but I would assume usually these guys run around 30 bucks on eBay or secondary markets. So, do I recommend him? I absolutely do, and I recommend the uh, these other flashes here. Um, they're all very well done figures, and yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say about um, Wally West here. Um, yeah, go out and get them if you want them. If you want them. But yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say about uh, Wally West, the Wally West Flash. Yet again, this is my review of the DC Signatures subscription Club Infinite Earths Wally West Flash. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this review. I, try, I tried to make this one a little bit more quick than my normal reviews. They usually run on into about 10 minutes plus. But thought I might, since it's a flash, make it a fast one. So, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed this review. Rate, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you guys on the flip side.